Hi, this is JP from Now the Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to another Parallel Investigator Challenge Scenario playthrough. And this time we are playing Roland Banks, Parallel Investigator, and the scenario is by the book. Uh, this uses the Midnight Mask Scenario map. And uh, there is one new location, Arkham Police Station, which is the starting location. And we don't have the Your House location play. Uh, parallel Lo Roland has these directives in play, I'll talk about them in a bit, but the objective here is that there is a culprit underneath each location and we need to bring them down to the police station and uh, some of them are from uh, the Midnight Mass scenario so we can parlay them where we are, but uh, some are the cultists that come in the dark cult encounter set. So those we can't defeat because each time we defeat an enemy or uh, bring that enemy's uh, health down to zero, it stays at one and then it's exhausted and stuff like that. And we can move them around by using resources to bring them down to the police station and hook them in and... Uh, yeah, so the objective is to mm, get as many enemies into the victory display as possible. Uh, let's first look at Roland's deck that I built. Okay, and we are over on ArkhamDB.com and here is my deck I'm using for this scenario. So I ended up doing a 19 experience deck with Roland. Um, I am playing this as a blind playthrough, so I'm not really sure what I need for it, but I think we need to get clues, then we need to uh, have some ways to fight, etc. So I ended up taking the trusty 45 automatic level 2. Then uh, I also have flashlights to help me investigate better, and machete. I am not playing these challenge scenarios with the taboo list, so I'm using machete as it is. Uh, then uh, I <laughs> thought I'm I I will try out the riot whistle. I'm not uh, entirely sure if this is even good in this scenario, but we'll see. Uh, then in the ally slots, I added one medical student just to get some healing uh, and uh, some damage soak. Uh, Tetsuo Mori is a good guardian ally. We can fish. Uh, Card we need from our deck, an item asset from our deck when Tetsuo Mori is defeated. Handcuffs, I think these could be useful to keep the enemies uh, uh, exhausted, so it is easier for me to uh, drag them from the other locations to the police station if needed. Then I picked Stick to the Plan. Uh, uh, it is a costly permanent because it's exceptional, but it's really good because I can put some uh, niche cards on it and also the Ever Vigilant, which lets us play a lot of cards cheap with only one action. So Ever Vigilant, we can play up to three cards from my hand and they all each cost one less. Uh, I also added one emergency cast to put onto the stick to the plan. This this is level two, so it gains us three resources and draws us a card. Then I have the last card on the stick to the plan is interrogate. This lets us uh, get clues better. It is really useful because there are a lot of um, humanoid enemies in the encounter set. Uh, I thought of trying out on the trail. This could be good. I have no idea if it works. Uh, scene of the crime, a really good way to get, get clues. And uh, with one of my directives, this is a really good card. Then uh, scout ahead. I tried. I will try this because it's a big map and we have to move around. So this will let us move more efficiently. Also, Shortcut is a really good card, and Working the Hunts is a really trusty card for Roland. 
Then uh, only two skills and I opted to take, take the initiative, which is a really strong card to deal with the Mythos face cards. And uh, because it's only 19 experience, I had I got one extra uh, basic weakness, so I got Hypochondria. Uh, it's not that bad, and Nihilism is one of the softer ones for Roland at least. But that is basically the deck I built. So let's uh, next look at the directives I have. So we start the game with. Uh, three di uh, directives in play. We have five to choose from. I opted to take these three. So first off we have uh, Leave No Doubt. Roll on bank stack only permanent. Regulation. You cannot move more than twice each round. You get plus three in sanity, which is good for Roland. But it hinders our movement. But I think we can handle that. Then we have Due Diligence. Uh, Roland Deck only permanent regulation. You cannot fight more than twice each round during a skill test while investigating, evading, or hauling. Exhaust directive. Uh, you get plus two skill value for this test for each enemy engaged with you. And lastly, we have the red tape. So the red tape is uh, Roland Banks deck only permanent regulation. You cannot play more than two cards each round. And uh, when you play an insight or tactic event, exhaust this directive, this event gains fast. So, uh, as I understand, if we play a card like Ever Vigilant, uh, it is still one play action, but let's see. So, uh, Ever Vigilant actually doesn't work really well with the red tape. Because we are playing those cards out of our hand, but it is what it is, so we might end up ditching that directive. So, uh, Roland has this ability to flip a directive asset face down, ignoring its permanent keyword, limit once per game, so we can get rid of one of those. And I think it's the red tape we are getting rid of if we need to. So the Elder Sign effect is plus two, choose a directive asset, you may ignore its regulation ability this round. So, um, we will be getting close, uh, fighting enemies, uh, dragging those enemies to, our, uh, to the police station, or hauling them as we go. Uh, we start with a new agenda, so forced when a non-weakness cultist enemy would be defeated, set its remaining health to one instead. Forced. If Roland Bank is defeated, proceed to rest of two. two resign. I, uh, you don't want to miss your deadline, so you close the case. So we have a resign option also. Then uh, capture the conspirators. I think, let's see. So action, spend one clues per investigator as group. Flip over a face down a conspiration at your location and put it into play, engage with you. Fast triggered ability, spend one resource, exhaust, call this enemy engaged with you, it remains engaged, only Roman Roland Banks may trigger this ability. So it stays engaged, so we can move with it, so it's exhausted, and then we can move with that conspirator. Objective parlay with as many conspirators as you can, if 10 cultist enemies are in the victory display, advance. And that is basically it. So we try to get some culprits to the police station and or conspirators and uh, follow them to the victory display. But we'll see how this goes, so let's get started. So we are ready to begin. Uh, first off, I'll draw my opening hand. See, so we get the working a hunch, right visual, handcuffs, flashlight, and prone to the flame. I think right visual and. Uh, mm, what should I keep? Well, actually, hmm. Uh, I think I will 
it's these two. So we get Roland's 38 special and Scout ahead. So we shuffle these in, back into our deck. Okay. Then we are ready to start playing. I think uh, we'll go slowly, so I'll just opt to play the Roland's 38 special. And if you hear some grilling sound, there's a, a renovation going on upstairs, so sorry about that. I hope it doesn't pick up on the mic, but it is what it is. Can't help that. So the Roland's 38 special, it's the advanced version, so we add four resources on it. So we, at least we have a weapon immediately. Second action, uh, we only can get to play one more card. I think I'll keep the rest in hand and play Drawn to the Flame. So we get the top card of the encounter deck, and it is false lead. It searches, because we, oh yeah, we have one clue, so actually it doesn't search. Let's see, so if you have no clues, it gets searched. If you have one or more clues, just uh, intellect or for each point you fail by place one of your clues to your location. And uh, I don't, I only have the flashlight to commit to this test, so not looking good. Maybe we'll just drop one clue and then gain two clues, so that is a win for me. Uh, uh, let's see. Oh yeah, uh, I'll use this, so that was actually a fast inside event. And the others don't do anything for me, so let's see, I am testing 3 versus 4. This is a 0, we drop one clue but we pick up two clues, so that is a positive result. Then uh, we still have two more actions to do. So I have played two cards. I can't play uh, any more cards because of this directive. So I think I will do the fast action to spend a clue. We reveal this enemy here. It is Herman Collins. Okay, and... Uh, Let's see. I think I'm doing it like so. So I'm spending one resource to exhaust this enemy. So it is exhausted, still engaged, but now we can as an action draw a card, we get the riot whistle, then we can parlay, choose and discard four cards from your hand, and we add Herman Collins to the victory display, so we already got one. I'll keep the uh, victory display over here. So, uh, that was our turn. No enemy actions, we ready up. We draw one card, and we gain one resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a Doom to the agenda. First encounter card of the game. Well, the second one actually is Rotting Remains. Test uh, Willpower 3 for each point you fail by take one horror. We don't have anything to boost this with, so I will just test it. So we are testing uh, 3 versus 3. It is a minus three, so we take three, four. But uh, we have this directive, so we still have five uh, sanity remaining. But that wasn't nice. Okay, well, uh, first off, I think I will play... I'll use stick to the plan. So I'll play the emergency cash. We'll get three resources. And draw a card. Another drone to the flame. 
Well, might as way, well play the drone to the flame. So I'm again using this as a fast action. So we get an encounter card, and it is hunting shadows. You must either spend one clue or take two damage. I'll take the damage, and we'll gain two resources. Uh, I mean two clues. Uh, second action is to move. Uh, the uh, Arkham Police Station is connected to Rivertown, downtown and east town. I think I'll go to the east town location next. So east town is two, shroud one, clue. While you are in eastern, re reduce the cost of each ally asset you play by one. Okay, and... Uh, Then uh, we will do the fast action to reveal this, spending one clue. It is uh, Wolfman Drew. Okay, well, this is an uh, annoying enemy. But I think we will fight for our last action using the Roland's 38 special. Fight. So I get actually plus four because there's a clue at my location. This deals plus one damage. So we are fighting uh, eight versus four. It is zero, so we deal two damage. And I'll spend one resource to exhaust Wolfman Drew. So it doesn't attack. And that is our turn. Uh, no enemy actions, uh, everything readies. We draw a card, we get another 45 autom well we get a 45 automatic and one resource, and that is that round, let's go to the next round. We add a doom, encounter card is, <laughs> relentless dark young, oh dear, uh, this is a big one, so this is a monster and dark young and evade two, so at least we have two enemies engaged, so I, I will um, first off evade and I will exhaust the uh, due diligence. So I have plus two for each engaged enemy, so I am evading uh, six versus two. Minus two, so we managed to evade this enemy. And uh, then uh, we will hit, uh, we will exhaust Wolfman Drew. So it is exhausted. We'll move. No, uh, yeah. No, we'll first play interrogate. So, uh, I'll use it as a fast action with the directive. So choose a humanoid enemy at your location and test uh, fight three or, or combat three. This test gets plus one difficulty where X is the enemy's damage value. So it's actually fight five. If you succeed, discover one clue at your location, one clue at any other location. And I will commit these two cards to the test. So, um, and this was a fast action, so we are testing uh, for six versus five. It is a skull, a skull is x, x is the number of cultist enemies in the victory space, so minus one, so we succeed. We'll grab this clue, and we'll grab this clue. 
Second action will move here. So this enemy stays behind, but Wolfman Drew comes with us. And uh, let's see. So, oh yeah, we could have mo moved with a free action. So I think I'll do that. So choose a non weakness cultist enemy at this location. Spend clues equal to its remaining health. So I'll spend two clues and parlay and put this enemy into the victory display. Oh yeah, and uh, we actually played it. Pro no, we played it correctly last time. Yeah, so we used the Herman Collins' own ability to parlay. So no, we didn't mess up there. So Wolfman Drew enters the victory display. Uh, we still have two actions, so I think I will do this fast trigger ability to move to River Town or. Let's go to downtown, so I'll do a loop over here and chase, put the relentless dark young chasing after us over the long way. So downtown is a three shot location with one full action gain three resources. We might be grabbing uh, uh, some resources here, so these were spent. And uh, we still have the one action, so I'll grab the resources. I think we need resources to keep enemies longer away exhausted so that was all of my actions so i moved only twice i played only one card and i have fought only well zero times okay so i think we're good so no enemy actions we ready up and draw a card, Riot Whistle, and gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a Doom. So three of six encounter card for this turn is Obscuring Fog. So it is harder to investigate here, but I think we have enough clues. So first action, I think uh, fast action will just spend a clue to reveal this cultist. Okay, which is uh, Peter Warren. Okay, well, I think we will hit Peter once or, or shoot Peter once. I'm actually. Changing these to ammo counters, like so. So, let's see. We are fighting uh, eight versus two, so this should be an easy hit. It is a zero, so we deal two damage. Uh, we'll spend our resource to exhaust uh, Peter Warren. We'll move here. We spend one clue as it is on, has only one um, health left. So now we need to go hunt some clues. But we have three cultists in the victory display, which is really good. I, I used the uh, free move action again. So we keep to our, um, so one, yeah, we can't only move once, so I think we have to go to River Town, so this doesn't hit, come engage with us and hit us, so we'll move to River Town for free, one clue and one shroud, so last action, we'll investigate, I'll investigate uh, three versus one. Minus one, we'll grab this clue, so that is good for next round. Uh, no more actions, we'll go to enemy phase, so the, this enemy hunts over here. Uh, then we ready up. We draw a card, take initiative and we gain one resource, so that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We had a doom. Four of six 
encounter card is obscuring fog so that is okay by me uh, then I think we don't want to reveal a cultist yet so we'll head down to south side to grab more clues there's one clue here action draw three cards so I'll actually do that action. We need more cards to have better uh, hand. So I'll draw three cards. Machete, Shortcut and Hypochondria. So Hypochondria force after you take one or more damage, take one direct horror. So we may be getting rid of that next round. But last action, I think I'll just investigate. Uh, I'm investigating three versus three, so that is not ideal. Do I want to commit uh, the take the initiative? Well, I, I think I'll. I think I will. No, let's not investigate. So uh, I'll spend the clue. And yeah, I'll spend the clue to reveal this enemy. And it is a normal acolyte, so after acolyte and there's play, place one doom on it. So uh, we still have one action left, so. I'm actually just using a resource to exhaust this so it doesn't hit us. And uh, yeah, I'll mark this so I have used them already. And uh, well, last action. I have not played a card, so I'm just uh, playing this as a fast action. I'll play. The machete down and it costs two. Then uh, last action, I'll draw a card. Another take the initiative. Well, that's okay. So enemy face this enemy hunts here. This doesn't do anything. We go to upkeep. We ready our cards. We draw a card. Uh, we get on the trail. And we gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. So we add a doom. And unfortunately, the acolyte means that we advance. So we are at six doom. We advance this. So we get Mr. Grey. It's three fight, three health, two evade, human cultist elite. Spawn, engage with Roland Banks Hunter. Mr. Grey gets plus two health. So it has a pair investigator, so it has five health. After Mr. Grey attacks an investigator, that investigator draws the top card of the encounter deck. So this engage, engages us. Well, um, that is annoying. So we have two enemies engaged with us, so uh, this is not ideal. So I think we will evade uh, Mr. Gray, or we could, uh, yeah, I think we leave the Acolyte here for now, so we'll evade the Acolyte. And I'm exhausting this. So I get plus four to this evasion. Plus one, we evade. So the cultist is evaded and we'll leave it here. We'll spend one resource to exhaust Mr. Gray. And it's still engaged with us. 
I will flip this directive over with Roland Banks' ability, so from now on I can't flip more. But now we can move three times a turn, which is good. So, uh, let's see. We'll grab clues later, so I'll just move to Miskatonic University. There are two clues there. Then I, last action I'll move to north side. There are two clues there. And uh, that is our turn. No enemy actions. We Well, there is this hunt here. Uh, we'll ready up. We draw a card. It is scene of the crime, which is perfect. And we gain one resource, so... That is that round. Let's go to the next round. Uh, I think last turn I forgot to take an uh, encounter card, so I'll just see what it was. Well, <laughs> hunting night gun, so... Ah, uh, damn it. I'm just gonna play that I'll draw two encounter cards now, because there's too much to change now. So this engages us. We get another... <laughs> we get the gold spawn, so we have to start fighting. We have too many enemies now. So this will make it really hard to do anything. Fast action. Um, I'll exhaust this to play a fast action. I'll use this. So uh, we will grab two clues from here. Then I'll spend uh, a resource to exhaust Mr. Gray. Well, actually, I'm going to fight once against the Hunting Night Gaunt. I'm fighting uh, six versus three. It is an Elder Sign, so I will be ignoring the play more than cards for this round. So we deal two damage. Then we fight again. And uh, we'll use the Roland's 30th special again. So 6 plus 3, 0. We did the night count at least. And the last action. Yeah, we'll spend one resource to exhaust Mr. Gray. And uh, we can't do anything with the ghost spawn, ghost spawn, so we'll just have to move with it, take up damage. Oh yeah. So last turn I moved only twice, so... Okay, I think that's still okay. Uh... Yeah, I, I thought I was uh, turning around the one card that doesn't let us move more than once, but we didn't move more than twice last turn, so that is okay. And we, uh, we can fight now as many times as we want, so we'll move over here, and we'll take one attack of opportunity from the god spawn, then we'll go to the enemy phase, this hunts here. Uh, the, I'll just move this over here. So the gold spawn is engaged with us. Just uh, put some markers for it. So... Mm, so it will hit us for one damage. That is it, so we'll ready up. We draw a card. Shortcut, and we gain one resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. So the 
threshold is six, so we are one of six. Encounter card is uh, false lead. I have clues, so I will be testing uh, intellect four versus something. I'll use one of the take the initiatives. I really don't want to lose any clues. Uh, it is a call. This is a minus two. We pass. Oh yeah, damn, we have a call this enemy engage, so we have to reveal another token, so we gotta call this, and uh, it is a minus one, so minus three altogether, uh, so we actually end up failing by one, so we drop one of our clues, I think that's still okay, that is the mutual space done. Uh, first thing we do is shortcut. We move over here. That's a fast, so we don't take an attack of opportunity. We'll fight um, Mr. Gray. Oh yeah, let's see. Oh yeah, uh, we defeated an enemy, there were no clues on our location, so we actually have one ammo here left, because it reloads then. So, uh, we'll use it to fight uh, Mr. Grey, so Mr. Grey is not exhausted anymore, so we are fighting uh, 6 versus 3. I want to commit something else. No. So six versus three. Minus three, so we deal two damage. And uh, we'll fight again. And uh, I'm using the machete. So we are five versus uh, three. Uh, I think I'll commit on the trail. So six versus three. Minus two. We deal only one damage because we have more than one enemy engaged. And uh, last action I'll fight again. And now it's five versus three. Minus one. Uh, we, de we deal one more and then uh, we'll use a resource to exhaust it, so it doesn't attack. So, next turn we can uh, get rid of Mr. Grey, but the goat spawn attacks us in the enemy phase, so this hunts here. We'll take one damage. Um, I'm actually changing this, so we are at five of nine damage. And uh, that is it, we ready up, draw a card, 45 automatic and gain a resource, so that is that round, let's go to the next round. We add a doom, encounter card is, another gold spawn, so we have too many enemies in play, but it is what it is, we have to try and de deal with them. Somehow, mm. oh, yeah, we took. We have actually taken a couple of more horrors because of the hypochondria. I'll add them now. So we are pretty low on health, uh, sanity also. But first action, I'll uh, parlay and spend, spend uh, the last clue I have to. Put Mr. Gray into the victory display. So at least the, that's done. Then um, I think I will fight twice to defeat at least one of the gold spoons. Uh, damn. No, I I will 
evade one. I'm evading uh, four versus two. Yeah. Minus one. One of them is evaded. Then I will use the free move here to move over here. I will fight with the machete. So four versus uh, five versus three. Minus one, we hit, deal two damage. We'll fight again. Five versus three. Or, yeah, yeah, five versus three, so minus two hits. We defeat this one. And that is our turn. Enemy face, this enemy hunts here. Are we ready up? We draw a card, we get Death to a Mori, and we gain one resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a Doom, 3 of 6, and counter card for this turn is a Hunting Shadow. You must either choose one, spend one clue, or take two damage. I don't have any clues, so I have to take the damage, which is painful. So we are at 7 damage, and we take one Horror also. We're, we have 6 horror of uh, 8 and 7 horror of uh, damage of 9. So we are really hurting. But let's see what we can do. So we could uh, go grab the cultist. Move, grab the cultist, move. Then move, move, and last turn move, resign. Okay, so I think this will be our last, or we could, yeah, if we reveal any more of those cultists, those will add doom and uh, we will have to resign faster. So first action, I will play Tetsuo Mori. I will move this uh, cultist engages us. Then uh, just put it over here. Uh, let's see. We will move again to Miskatonic University. And that is our whole turn. We will, we can't uh, shortcut because we already moved twice. So we'll uh, ready. Well, these enemies hunt over here. Uh, yeah. And we draw a card, handcuffs, and we gain one resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a Doom, 4 of 6, Encounter card is Frozen in Fear. Uh, the first time you perform one of the following actions, move, fight or evade, each round it costs one additional action, so that is a painful one. So we'll spend a resource to exhaust this enemy. Oh yeah, we actually did that last turn also, so it didn't hit us, but now uh, we need one clue to be able to do something, we don't have that good of investigative car, so this is a problem. The Shroud here is too much, and the Shroud in the other location is too much also. Well, um, 
So if we investigate, then move with the shortcut. We ha still have one more move action to do. Next turn we can move, uh, resign. Okay, so we have to try it. So, um, if we fail this, then we fail this, and that's it. So, three versus four. Zero is not good enough, so I think we are just resigning this round because there is no way to uh, get this cultist there and have a clue to parlay and get it uh, to the victory display. So we'll just uh, resign and that is it. So um, we got four cultists and all of them were the uh, Midnight Mask enemies and the by the book new enemy we got. So let's see the results. So if no resolution was reached and Roland resigned, proceed to resolution one. Your evidence presented at the case closed. You return to your typical day-to-day -day investigating bootleggers and common criminals. Those responsible for the murders, those you could catch anyway, are safely behind bars. With the proof you collected, not even Mr. Gray's extensive influence can pardon their crimes. But returning to your usual case has proven difficult. Nagging worries pull at your thoughts. Something compelled Mr. Gray and the others to commit these hein heinous crimes, to sacrifice human lives in pursuit of some dark, sinister purpose. A rot lies beneath the surface of this town like mold hides in the foundation of an old rotting house. With so much left unknown, how can you be sure the guidelines of the Bureau account for what you've seen? What if next time you have to break the rules to get to the truth? What will you do then? Roland Banks earns equal, experience equal to the combined victory x value of each enemy in the victory display. We have one, two, three, four. Each other investigator earns experience equal to the combined x, uh, victory x value of each location in the victory display. Well, we have one. Yeah, so. The others, if there were any, would earn one. Then, if the number of cultist enemies in the victory display is 4 to 5, Roland Banks begins the next scenario with one additional card in hand, 6 to 7, 2 additional cards, and 8 to 9, uh, 3 additional cards. If 10, Roland begins the next scenario with 3 additional cards in hand, choose and remove any non symbol token from the Chaos Pack for the remainder of the campaign. And if Mr. Gray is in the victory display, Roland Banks may either upgrade uh, Roland's 30th special to its advanced version or downgrade to advanced version of power up in its original version. So we could uh, downgrade the weakness, and that is it. So um, we didn't get that good of a result. I was hoping to get at least five to six cultists, but it is what it is. This was, after all, the blind play to and we were pretty swamped with enemies throughout the game. So, considering that, I think this is an okay first try with uh, parallel Roland and in this scenario. So, that was uh, by the book with parallel Roland Banks. Hope you guys liked this playthrough. Thanks for watching and until next time.